Any thoughts on today's stage, Vasily? It's a king stage. Uh, that's what's gonna happen today. It's basically it's gonna be GC, I believe. Uh, a lot of mountains to climb today, and uh, our priority target to get uh, KOM jersey and try to do best on the stage and uh, have uh, Valeri and Jones, Chris Jones. Uh, have them move to GC and a better position. So it's going to be a very exciting stage and uh, I think we have all cards to play and uh, looking forward to the stage. It's all about climbing today, from what, beginning to the end. And what kind of elevations are we talking about? We're we talking about high elevation today. We're talking about... Uh, at one point we will be at 8,000 feet. Two and a half thousand meters, basically, mm -hmm. and you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, mm -hmm. seven of them, and finish. It's going to be on the top too. So, how's that uh, going to affect somebody like Kobza or Chris Jones in terms of their performance with the oxygen and the elevation? It's they land. They prepared for it. They know how to climb. And they do their best. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, this is definitely one of the hardest stages you'll ever see in any kind of tour. Tour de France, Tour d'Italia, Vuelta España. It's 137 miles today. A lot of KOMs, a lot of elevation gain. We go to 8,000 feet. And uh, these guys are tired from the last two days. It certainly hasn't been a parade by any stretch of the imagination here. So there's a lot of tired bodies out there, and we're going to see riders. It's going to look like a bomb went off. There's, they're going to be coming in in smaller groups. There'll be a gruppetto, and that'll be the biggest group of the whole stage. We're going to see the, the real contenders here today in every single category, except for maybe the, the points side of it. But definitely the KOM and definitely the GC. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be epic. It's going to be tough. I mean, there's seven climbs. We go over 8,000 feet a couple times. I don't know. We'll take it climb by climb. Uh, you know, Cobes and I will be looking out for each other, and hopefully we get. Rabu up in the break so he can take some KOM points. I think that's probably the most important goal for the team. And then secondary is, is Cobes and I, so um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. I ridden the course. I mean, we've just seen the profile and it looks, you know, like a sawtooth. It's just ragged. So I think they're all going to be tough. Obviously, once we get closer to the finish, you know, it's going to be a little more intense because people are going to start trying to pick up the pace and things, but I think it's just going to be hard overall. being in the right break mm -hmm. and right from from the neutralization I, I just like I just I had to be in the break so and then the two the two Saxo guys they were really pacing and they had a gap and I was bridging and then some other pro two guys they were catching us and then they were full gas on the climb and, uh, two and then we hit the KOM with, with, with eight guys so it was great. And after that, we got like five, six, six minutes. Nice. So by then, I knew it would be a good day for, for me and for the team. It was a big surprise, though, to see the quality of the of Thomas's breakaway companions: George Henkepi, Andy Schleck, uh, the Garmin rider. Matt Wilson was did his job, and then also Radio Shack with Jason McCartney and uh, and the other uh, Saxo Bank rider. Ash Lex teammate. I mean, that was a pretty high-powered group, and we really didn't think 
that uh, Rebu would be able to stick with those guys as long as he did. And not only did he stick with them, we thought he'd win like the second, third, and fourth KOMs, but he won all six of the remaining KOMs.